evaluate limit of the function square root x minus 2 divided by square root of x cube minus 8 where x approaches 4. Now as a first step we'll substitute 4 for x and see what do we get. So if I write 4 here then I have square root of 4 minus 2 over square root of 4 cube minus 8. Now square root of 4 is 2 so I get 2 minus 2 and 4 cube square root 4 cube is 64 and square root of 64 is 8. We get 8 minus 8 and that gives us 0 over 0 form. Right. So what do you notice here is that this is an indeterminate quotient form. We get 0 in the numerator and 0 in the denominator after substituting the limiting value in our function. Correct? Now, to solve this kind of a problem, we can use factoring technique, we can use rationalization. But those are kind of difficult when you're dealing with radicals. So I'm going to introduce you substitution of variable. So we'll redefine our variable and then solve it. So that is a neat technique and a very efficient technique to be used. So what we'll do is, we'll substitute square root x with another variable. So let's write down, let square root of x equals to some variable u, right? In that case, what will be square root x cube? In that case, square root x cube will be equal to u cube, correct? So we can replace square root x with u and square root of x cube with u cube. Now we need to change the limit also. As x approaches 4, what happens to u? If I write 4 here, square root of 4 is 2. As x approaches 4, u approaches 2. So this is the kind of substitution which we are going to do to solve or simplify our question. Okay, So that is what we will do now. So that is substitution of one variable which is square root x by another variable which is u for us. And then you will appreciate how it helps to simplify. So let's rewrite our question. So we can write this as limit x approaches 4 square root of x minus 2 over cube of x then square root minus 8 and let's do this substitution so what is happening here is limit instead of x approaching 4 we have u approaching 2 right square root of 4 is 2 we have u approaching 2 now square root of x has been replaced or substituted by variable u so the numerator is u minus 2 and in the denominator we get u cube minus 8. Do you see that step? Now we have got rid of radicals. That is the most important thing. So getting rid of radicals is the reason why we did this substitution. So wherever, whenever you have radicals in your expressions, try to take help of substitution. Okay, that's the key. So now Denominator is difference of cubes. 8 is 2 cube, right? And therefore, we can factor and simplify. We have u approaching 2. And in the numerator, it is u minus 2. It is u cube minus 2 cube. 8 is 2 cube. So we can write this as u minus 2 times u square plus ab, which is 2u, plus 2 square, which is 4. So that's what we get in denominator. And now we have in a way factored out u minus 2 from both numerator and denominator. These can be cancelled. And that indicates the reason why we got 0 in the numerator and 0 in the denominator. That means in the function there's a hole as x approaches 2. So at 2 there is a hole. 2 is not in the domain of the function. Let me write here that 
u is not equal to 2, right? u is not equal to 2, right? In a way, I should write here x is not equal to 4 here, right? Since if I plug in 4 here, denominator becomes 0, as you can see, correct? Now, since we have got rid of the factor from both numerator and denominator, which was giving us 0 over 0, we can now find the limit by placing u equals to 2. So now we have simplified expression, which is limit of the function 1 over u square plus 2u plus 4, where u approaches 2. So if I plug in 2 in this function, we get 1 over 2 square is 4, plus 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4, that gives us 1 over 12. And therefore, we can say limit of square root of x minus 2 divided by square root of x cubed minus 8, where x approaches 4, is 1 over 12. So our answer is 1 over 12. So that is how we are going to solve rational expressions. I should not say rational expressions since they are not polynomial. So that is how we can solve such functions with radicals by substitution. So remember, a very important tool which we are discussing here is substitution of variable, right? So we substituted one variable with the other which helped us to simplify the problem and determine the limit. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.